Ma, you got, uh, uh you got some uh, apples, fruits, bananas, no bananas, no apples, no fruits. As you can see, this is the GNC grocery store. I just asked her, does she have any fruits and any apples? She doesn't have anything. But the sign clearly says outside this is a grocery store, but they don't have any. That's why we call you to the curry out. Right across the street, you got the China, China Cafe curry out. You know what you're getting there. Four wings with fried rice, three ninety five. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> let's, let's stop at A1 Grocery right quick and see if they got some fresh fruits and uh, vegetables in here. I'm going to walk in here and see if they got any fresh fruits and vegetables. Hey, Ma. You got some fresh fruits and vegetables, bananas, oranges, no, no, apples? No. But you have two grocery stores that, that don't sell any fresh fruits or vegetables. And this is what the community eats around here. How can I expect you to eat healthy if you live in a place that doesn't have a grocery store? You don't have access to healthy food. When I was a child, we had all kinds of fruit trees throughout the city. We had the mulberry trees, we had the apple trees. But one thing I noticed as I got older, it's like the trees were all dissipated. There was a time where about 10% of all producers were all black farmers. And that was past slavery and that was more into like further into the 50s, 60s. And right now, about all producers, it's only about 1.2% of all farmers are black farmers. About 70% of our population is either overweight or obese. Um, and that's extremely high. And then it's higher if you look in blacks, and then it's higher if you look at black women. Food alone is not the answer to anybody's health. Um, it has to be kind of like a both-end scenario. So it's food, information, and getting physically active. Because it doesn't matter how many fresh fruits and vegetables you take, if you ain't moving, you ain't gonna drop nothing. You know, they got the Xbox today, the Wii 360, PlayStation 2, they got a whole lot of toys. When I was growing up, we just did stuff, you know, we went to the to the creek to jump rocks. We, we found stuff to do, we get out the house. My actions are speaking louder than my words right now. I'm chilling, enjoying the nice air. It feels good. I'm stress free. Stress is one of those things. People that are stressed, what do you usually do when you're stressed? You usually eat or you do something that's not very good for you. So maybe it's a cigarette, Maybe it's a couple of them still reserves. We, <laughs> we was walking up here. Um, you know, maybe it's yelling and mistreating the people that you live with. The, um, the climate in the park controls your destiny. It, it will go make you happy or it's gonna make you sad. It's my health, my sense of mind, my, my sense of being, my direction, where I wanna go, what I wanna do. Having a cookout, music, uh, bike repair uh, workshop, educating the, uh, the community on um, how to grow their own vegetables and, and trying to get them back to growing the vegetables. Everybody was having a wonderful day, you know, in spite of the rain. Then chaos erupted. Some young guy and uh, 
young girl had a squabble. The young lady pulled out a, a knife. Hopefully the young guy will be all right. The crazy lady said her name was and then she took off into the woods after she yeah, stabbed the boy in his chest. That was crazy. How do you think mental health relates to green? Or being outside, more yeah. or less. Um, so say or, if you're sick, mm -hmm. if you're not feeling so good. Um, so there's a lot of research um, that shows the positive benefits of you know, working gardens, of sitting outside, of playing outside on people with mental health issues. Um, I'm not as familiar with some of the more, um, I guess, drastic issues like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder or anything like that. Well, we know violence is a part of the community and it was on strong display today. And but again, we want to substitute the violence with healthy choices. You know, not only nutritional uh, values, we're talking about spiritual values, we're talking about educational values, and most of all, respect for your brother man. The, the most significant change about this park is that now it's becoming a destination spot. So it's not something I just run through to get to the bus or I run through to get home. The people actually stop and kind of hang out. Nowadays, parks are more vital than they were back then uh, because uh, they, there are not as many parks as there was. I can bring my daughters to the park and they can run around and play on the playground. They can, uh, they can do a lot of things in the park. Exercise, uh, relieve stress. Like we have a park across the street, we can grow our own vegetables and fruits, and we can sell it out the Barnett Center. There used to be a time when people was growing their crops instead of going to stores and buying their crops. So it's showing how things go in a cycle, like how new be, how new things used to be old things. We're trying to get people of color capacity to be able to control their own health and create an economic foundation around them and healthier business. You know, earlier in the uh, documentary, we presented that, the thought and the idea. Uh, we went into a few grocery stores, or at least the sign says grocery stores, but we was unable to obtain any fruits and vegetables. So with these community gardens, you know, we're going to have these healthy produce and, and vegetables and fruit right in the community. I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no Christmas day. It had taxing and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor. Bed for all the time, eyes been climbing on and reaching lanes and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it kind of hard. Don't fall now, for I still going, honey. I still a climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal stair. <laughs>